And we begin. Hey, big BCW show this Friday night at the high school. Tell your friends. Don't need a flyer. I go to every show. Wait, is that you? Uh, what do you mean? Facing Mr. CQ in the main event. It's definitely you. Uh, <laughs> I guess I can see the resemblance, but that guy's a huge indie star. Why would he be out here flyering for a show? Hey, is this weirdo bothering you? He's one of the wrestlers. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Have fun at the show. Yo. I thought Resto's had money. Why would he be driving around some crappy bug van? See? See? Good point. More proof that I am not who you think I am. Sure. You gotta check out this guy's highlights online. He's going to be a huge star in WWE someday. <laughs> Thanks. That's nice of you to say. I mean about the wrestler on the poster who is, um, definitely not me. Come on. Let's go. Hope you beat Mr. CQ. I can't stand that guy. Or maybe I'll see you in the crowd Friday night. By the way, I, I mean, just realized that pickup truck, that's uh, illegally not from parked. The ring, because I'm not a wrestler. Hell yeah. You're looking pretty cool. Oh, well, that just happened. The game crashed. <laughs> um, this is gonna be upsetting. What's up, Demon King? How's it going? I don't. I don't think I'm gonna be able to play my career. <laughs> hmm. I don't think this is gonna happen. Pretty good, just trying to see what'll happen, trying to play my career while modded. So far, not so good. Is that another crash? Yep. Fully modded. <laughs> Work that time. Hey, I want you to meet Matt Bloom from NXT. Matt, this is my protege, Van Gogh. I'm a big fan, Mr. Bloom. I mean, I've studied all your matches from your run in WWE and Japan. Really great stuff. Thanks. You must be a true student of the game. I try to be. So why do they call you Van Gogh? Are you some kind of artist? Not quite. I gave him that name because everywhere he goes, his dad's old work van goes. He practically lives in that thing. Yeah, practically. 
So what brings you out to our show? I'm here to scout your opponent, Cole Quinn. Cole's great. You won't be disappointed. I'll have my eye on you as well. Wait, really? You're wrestling Cole, so it'd be kind of hard not to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good point. Well, I should go get ready. It was nice meeting you, Mr. Bloom, and thanks for coming out to the show. Hell yeah. Message from July 12th. 2014. Hey, it's your dad. Sorry I can't make it to your first match tonight. Work's been crazy lately. The Costellos have a heck of a stink bug problem. You wouldn't believe the smell. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to wish you good luck. Don't do anything too crazy and get yourself hurt. But I hope you win. Oh, and we're out of ice cream, so grab some Rocky Road on your way home. By the way, no matter what ends up happening with this whole wrestling thing, I'm proud of you for making it this far. Love you, son. Don't forget the rocky road. Man, good to see you. That, 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 slow your roll, Greeny. Tonight's my big chance to get signed to NXT, so don't do anything to screw it up. <laughs> okay, look, I'm gonna give it everything I have tonight, and we'll see where we stand after that. All I know is I'll be standing in Orlando at the Performance Center. You can continue standing in high school gyms. <laughs> we'll see. How about you worry about facing me tonight? Alright, we're going to our match. Let's go. Is that Aubrey Edwards from AEW? You goddamn right it is. Nobody cares about Cole Quinn.
These two have a long history together in BCW. If you want to check out any of their other matches, there's DVDs for sale at our merch table. All proceeds go to charity. Just kidding. They go to me. It's expensive to run these indie shows. Oh, that was a glitch. This is what BCW is all about. No fancy stage, no flashy pyro, no one running their mouth for way too long. Well, except for me. Other than that, it's all action, all the time, and these guys are two of the best. If I can have your attention for a second, whoever has a red pickup truck with the license plate OCS 732, you're blocking the school nurse's car and she'd like to go home now. Yeah. Somebody call the principal because these two are breaking all the rules. If you're wondering where Mr. CQ's opponent got all these sweet moves, you can thank me after the show because I trained him. shit out of him. Let's break his neck. Yeah, break his neck. This is what BCW is all about. We all gonna do about. about it. Let's go. Yes, it does. I'll be playing that on, on March 8th. I'll probably stream it too. I'll be really excited to play 2K22. It's not that far off. We're, we're getting there. Good match, Van Gogh. Yeah, great Thanks. job out there. It means a lot coming from Orlando, you. Orlando, here I come. I'm going to get a condo on the beach. There's no beach in Orlando. Well, then I'll make sure to furnish my condo with wall Yeah, but I'm getting stand. the NWO edition, so I get it plans, early. We have a few things to discuss. Like what? So I get it on March 8th. My start date? future opponents waste measurements for the nxt title not exactly to be honest i'm not a fan of your mr cq character you need to come up with something different it's not really a character but fine i can come up with something different after i get to nxt full disclosure i don't think you'll be heading to nxt yeah. not anytime soon but at it's least. worth it though for you're me you're just not ready i was actually more impressed with your opponent over here wait what so I've decided to offer him an opportunity instead. You'll have a tryout match on an up-and-coming WWE event. Really? Yes. I've been doing this a while now, and I know talent when I see Is this some I kind of it. joke? Because you were supposed to be here to scout me and not him. 
Plans change all the time in this business. That's a good lesson for you to learn. I have to go catch my flight. You and Baron will be hearing from us soon with the details on your tryout match. Don't make me regret my decision. I won't. Thank you. Unbelievable. I told you not to ruin this for me, and look what happened. Whoa, all I did was give it everything I had out there, okay? I can't help it that he saw more potential in me. Potential? Or was it your boy Baron here putting you over with him? I always knew that he was your favorite, but I didn't think it would cost me a shot at WWE. This was all Matt Bloom's decision. Do you think I want to see my top guys leave? <laughs> and do you think we want to stay here forever, wrestling in front of a few hundred people for crap money? That's not what I meant. I'm just saying we're building something good here. Besides, if you left, who would design our title belts? I only make your belts because you pay us so little for wrestling. It's so bad teacher's pet over here has to live in his van. But I'm willing to drop 120 I bucks. I that was a joke. I only Because I'm, I'm a mark for tough, NWO, so getting all that, most plus the, the My Faction stuff, the extra cards and well, stuff, because I'll probably go pretty fun, heavy you know? on My Faction. Look, you so just I'm, need I'm to pretty trust excited. the process. We're building a brand. And think of it this way. If any of us make it to WWE, it'll be good for everyone. It'll help put BCW on the map and lead to more opportunities. Oh, yeah. Easy for you to say. You're the one with a WWE tryout match. He's right, though. What's the saying? A rising boat will lift all tides? I think it's the other way around. Whatever. Come on, let's drop this thing and bring it in for a BCW handshake. Yeah, no thanks. I'll let you two celebrate alone. Don't worry about him. And congrats! I am truly happy for you! I'm about to get jobbed out to Braun Strowman. I'm super excited, though, for 2K22. I'm more curious about the DLC, because I'm assuming we're getting NXT 2.0, Hall of Fame pack, Moves pack, but what are the other two DLCs? That's what I want to know. This is way bigger than the high school gym, and the VFW, and the state fair combined. Don't let that bother you. All that matters is the rings the same size. All right, good point, but I assume their rings aren't covered in rust and mysterious stains. Hey, we're working on fixing that. Come on, let's go meet Triple H and uh, H. try to play it cool. You don't want to recite his entire career history like you did with Matt Bloom. <laughs> <sighs> it wasn't his entire career history. Hey, Hunter, it's been a while. This is my guy that Matt Bloom wanted to bring in for the tryout match tonight. Nice to meet you. You trained him, Baron? I did. He's one of my top students. I'll try not to hold that against him. Look, I've heard a lot of good things. But I want to see you in action tonight before we decide anything. I hope Baron Blade returns. Do you have an opponent for him yet? I do. Surviving in WWE is all about how you handle adversity. So you're going to face the toughest guy we have. Actually, the toughest monster we have. Go introduce yourself to Braun. Don't worry. He won't hurt you. Not until your match, at least. Uh, hey, Bron. I I just wanted to introduce myself. No autographs. <laughs> I'm I'm not a fan. I'm actually your opponent tonight. You mean victim? So how do you want to die tonight? Uh, <laughs> I'd like to survive tonight if that's okay with you. What I meant was. In what type of match do you want to get these hands? Uh, tables match could be cool. The owner of our promotion could never afford tables, so we never really got to use them. I can't believe you thought I was actually going to let you choose the type of match tonight. We're going to do what I want to do, because I'm the monster among men. So it'll be a steel cage match. That way, you can't run from me. 
Yeah, or what was left of ROH Steel since cage. it's currently dead. Great idea. That uh, was my second choice. And he's known as Titan now, which is interesting. Yeah, he's with EC3 and his stable of miscreants. Hey, I've seen some of your indie stuff online. Not bad. I've seen what he's capable of when he was my partner in the Mixed Match Challenge. Based on that, I suggest you start running. Now. That was helpful. Just make the most of your opportunity, win or lose. Matt Bloom brought you in here because he saw something in you. Just go out there and show him that again. Oh, and try to get some free swag. I'd like a Budio's lunchbox if you're taking requests. What, like a replica title belt? Of course, just trying to keep the mood light. But if you do see a lunchbox lying around, style points. Oh, I gotta reach level 10. What? Okay. Can't even unlock what I want to unlock. All right, time to go die. A 
saw this guy pull up in the parking lot today, and he was driving a bug exterminator van. Well, that's appropriate because he's about to get squashed by Braun Strowman. And his opponent weighing in at 385 pounds. Even at, even at my overall, I think I'm gonna get squashed. I might be able to beat Braun though. Have you seen some of this guy's matches on the indies? He's actually pretty good. No, I've got better things to do, like watching puddles evaporate or reading the phone book. Wait, wait, you still have a phone book? Yeah, remind me to hit you with it on SmackDown tomorrow. Look at this guy. He looks like deer in the headlights. No, 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 that's the look of someone whose life is flashing before their eyes. I'm dead. One, two, three. Yeah, there's no chance. Love getting squashed. You did a good job out there. Really? Feels like I got run over by a big bearded tank. Think it was enough for him to sign me? I don't know. But no matter what, you always have a home in the BCW. Thanks. Hey, I saw a lot of positive things from you tonight. Most importantly, you didn't seem intimidated by being on the bigger stage or by being locked in the cage with a monster. So with that being said, we'd like to offer you an NXT contract. Look that over and return it at tomorrow night's show. This is amazing. Thank you. I would shake your hand, but I think three of my fingers are dislocated. Don't worry about it. Rest up and we'll finalize everything tomorrow night. You did it. I'm shocked. Me too. I just can't believe it. I mean, against all odds. I know. I'll definitely be sad to see you go. You've become one of my top guys. You'll be fine, though, right? I mean, you got Cole and the rest of the crew, yeah? Sorry. What, what am I doing? This is your time to celebrate, not to worry about me and BCW. You enjoy the moment. I'm gonna go talk to Triple H about when you might start, so maybe I can get you on one more BCW show. We'll do a big farewell match. It'll be great. Sounds good. I... I'll see you back at the hotel. Congrats. I'm... I'm proud of you. Thanks, Baron. Couldn't have done it without you. How sweet. one-time thing or are you signing with WWE well actually I was literally just offered an NXT contract and I can't wait to get started you should just skip NXT and go straight to the main roster actually you know what hey 
Triple H. You say listen to your audience? Well, the audience is saying that I'm good enough to go straight to the main roster, which actually I think I proved it tonight by going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Braun Strowman in a steel cage and not backing down, but... <laughs> Damn, I just got jumped. I proved it tonight by going toe to toe with Braun Strowman in a steel cage and not backing down, but. Less than 24 hours. After we offer you the opportunity of a lifetime, you get into a fight with a fan outside a WWE event, and there's video. I'd really love to hear this explanation. I am so sorry. I never intended for this to happen, and I can promise you it will never, never happen again. I didn't ask for an apology. I asked for an explanation. You need to understand, this isn't some rinky-dink independent promotion running shows at the Elks Lodge. This is a global company. We can't have our WWE superstars getting into fights with fans. It's unprofessional, and it will not be tolerated. On top of that, you were caught on camera bashing NXT, saying you were going straight to the main roster. Who in the hell do you think you are? Look, I was just having fun with the fans, okay? I was just about to say that I would be happy to go to NXT, and then I was attacked. Oh, I bet. This is what I get for trying to do business with one of your guys, Baron. Come on, Hunter. Can't you just find him or something? No, I can't find him if he's not on the active roster. I'm rescinding the contract offer. Leave or I will have security escort you out. Don't ever bring me one of his guys again. Understood. This is on you, too. Remember what I said about making me regret my decision? Congratulations. You did it in record time. Damn. Ah! Hey, this wasn't your fault. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Now, come on. Grab your stuff. We gotta go. It's as almost if somebody's screwing me. Just a minute. Wakey, wakey, Jake the Snakey. <sighs> It is too early for that to be funny. Sorry, I couldn't wait to tell you the good news. Triple H called and wants to offer me a contract again? No. Better. What could be better than that? Well, after news of your NXT contract being pulled hit the internet, your fan fight video went viral. It's over 2 million views now. Sorry, make that 2.2 million. So, a whole lot of people have watched me throw my career away. Why is that a good thing? Yeah, I have too, many times. Creates cash. But I figured I'd do this my again, because why not? Up. Everyone wants to book you now. You're the hottest thing on the indie scene. And based upon the principle of supply, there's only one of you. And demand, like I said, is high. Your rate is skyrocketing. Okay, okay, this could be good. It could be very good. We could turn chicken crap into chicken salad, if you know what I'm saying. I don't think I get it. You're going to stick it to Triple H and WWE by making your own success in the indies. You'll be way bigger than you ever would have been in NXT or WWE, and we'll do it together. So what do you say? Are you in? I mean... What other choice do I have? I'm in. I'm in. All right. Now, go brush your teeth. Your breath is terrible. It's too early for this.
But yeah, I, I've I've played through this so many times, but it's it's a cool story mode. Definitely better than two K twenties, because my character actually feels good, and I don't feel like a jobber and a joke, which is nice. Because there's nothing more I hate than my, my, my wrestler being a joke. Uh, somebody want to explain to me what's going on here? Give me a minute. Welcome to the new reality of BCW. Because of all your online hype, we sold out our usual allotment of tickets a few days ago. But, since I'm an entrepreneurial genius, I pulled some strings with the school principal, allowing us to move the show outside. Therefore, doubling our capacity. <laughs> all right. All right, good work. But that's not all. See those fancy video cameras and that nice gentleman I was just speaking with? Uh... Yeah. For the first time ever, BCW will be live streaming our event around the world on pay-per-view. So anyone who's not lucky enough to see Buzz in person can still watch him do his thing from the comfort of their homes for a small but fair fee. Isn't it great? Uh, yeah, it's great. Question, who is Buzz? Oh, <laughs> that's your new nickname. You know, because of all the social media buzz you're generating. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. Buzz? <laughs> it's all turning into chicken salad, my friend. Uh, yeah, speaking of making things not crappy, have you seen Cole? I feel like I should talk to him before our match tonight. Well, he's around here somewhere. And, oh, by the way, your match with him tonight is now Falls Count Anywhere. Thought you two could have some fun with all the extra space out here. <laughs> fun, yeah. You really have an odd definition of the word fun. <laughs> From inside the ring to behind the scenes, you're about to be up to no good with former WWE superstar Hood Benson and his co-host Pete Clark. Uh, all right, yeah, you know, Pete, I, I'm, I'm just saying, Pete, you can't get into a fight with a fan, no matter what the circumstances are. Ah, oh, but Hood, the you fan know, attacked uh, him uh, first. What was he supposed uh, to do? Yeah, hey, hey, look, 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 look. I, I, I get it. You know, it's, it's, it's a tough situation to be in. You know, fans are crazy. You know, and oh, yeah. at 30 years ago. I, I probably would have done much worse than this <laughs> yes, guy you did. It, you know, uh -huh. I ended up in jail. Yeah. You know? <laughs> what but, 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 but he has to realize that WWE is the big leagues. Yeah, well, you know, well. this is not, this, this, this is, this is not in the garage. You know, this, this is, there's zero tolerance for that sort of thing. There's no ifs, ands, or, or buts yeah. about it. And then that, that's why Triple H had no chance to but to pull his contract. No choice. Well, I would have liked to see him get a second chance. A, se a second chance? Yeah. yeah he, he, he ain't even had he, he ain't even signed the contract yet for his first chance. All right. <laughs> you know, he, he, he didn't even earn a right for a second okay, chance. Okay, fine. <laughs> but let's talk about what's happened since then. The videos of the fight have gone viral, and BCW's capitalizing on the notoriety uh, by having their very first online pay-per-view. Uh, so it yeah. seems as if Baron Blade and his protege are making a positive out of this. No? Uh, I, I, I will give him credit for that. Right. You, know, you, you got to strike while the iron's hot. Yeah. Right now, this this guy's lava hot. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, we, we wouldn't be talking about him otherwise. Mm -hmm. So, are you going to order the pay-per-view? I do want to see what this guy's all about in the ring. You know? So I was thinking maybe you could order it at your house and I'll come over to watch. Yeah, I knew that was bring coming. Bring some chips and everything. Hey, yeah, what, yeah. What, what do I always say? It's, it's not how much you make. Is how much. His voice was the soundtrack for the biggest matches in squared circle history. And now he breaks down the latest happenings in the world of pro wrestling. Get ready for enticing conversations with legendary wrestling commentator Jack Tice. Former wrestler now any promoter Baron Blade has been in the news along with his protege from BCW, who reports say had a contract offer on the table from WWE until he got into a fight with a masked fan outside the arena after his tryout match. Now, word is Triple H was furious and pulled the contract offer the next day. We uh, tracked down the person who recorded the video of the altercation that went viral, and uh, he had this to say. 
I was recording the video on my phone when the guy in the mask came out of nowhere and attacked him. I didn't get a real good look at the mask guy because it happened so fast, but from the way he was fighting, it seemed like he knew what he was doing. Like he wasn't just some regular fan. Interesting first-hand account on what went down, but uh, I wanted to hear from the man who's now capitalizing on this controversy. So uh, I reached out to BCW owner Baron Blade. Uh, here's a preview of what he had to say. Jack, you've been in this business for a long time, so you know it was once possible for a wrestler to be successful outside the WWE umbrella. And that's what I'm trying to do with BCW and Buzz. That's what we're calling him now, by the way, on account of all the buzz he's generating. But back to my point, which is, who knows what would have happened if Buzz signed with NXT? It might have been two or three years before he was called up to Raw or SmackDown, and there's no guaranteeing that would have even happened at all. But I'm helping him make his own success right now. BCW is small, and we can move fast to capitalize on all the attention. WWE is this huge behemoth of a company where you need to hold 25 meetings to make a decision that we can make in two minutes. Oh, I know all about that, believe me. And I'm not saying that BCW is going to take down WWE. I mean, I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. All I'm saying is that guys like Buzz and Cole Quinn have a lot more... That's exactly why you two should face each other. The fans are dying to see what happens next. In fact, I just heard... Yeah, it was only temporary. And remember, it's Falls Count Anywhere tonight. So feel free to take the fight. There he is. The man who drowned in his own rising tide. Come back to apologize to me for stealing my shot at WWE and immediately throwing it away? <laughs> Look, I am not apologizing for anything, okay? All I want to say is that we don't need to have each other's backs, but with what Baron is planning to do, the least we could do is have each other's respect, all right? So, are we good? <laughs> oh, yeah. We're so good? I thought I'd introduce you to my new character I'm trying out tonight. You remember how Matt Bloom didn't like Mr. CQ and decided to give you a tryout instead of me? Sure. Smart decision. I'm calling myself Black Hole Coal because I have an energy so intense, nothing can escape it. <sighs> what? Oh, you don't like it? Why? Not a fan of masks these days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I find it really I interesting that, that I was attacked by somebody wearing a mask and next time I see you, you have a mask. Not to mention, you also had all the motivation in the world to do it. Hmm. You're right. It was me. So what are you going to do about it? Uh, you better tell me the truth right now. It wasn't me! I, uh, I had a match that night, 300 miles away. I got the gas receipts to prove it. But I could have hired somebody to do it. What? That was a joke! Man, relax! <sighs> You're real funny. Real funny. We'll see who's laughing after our match tonight. Damn. Time to go whoop some ass. A double S. Oh, well. That just happened. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a common occurrence, isn't it? Oh, boy. Yeah, I figured with it being modded, it was going to cause me problems.
this. We don't need to see my entrance, we've already seen it. Oh. I forgot I replaced this theme song. I guess Cole Qu uh, Black Hole Cole's coming out the Darby Allen's theme song. Yes, I do. I got Darby. I got the Lucha, uh, the Lucha Brothers. I got the uh, the Lucha, uh, not the Lucha. Yeah, the Jurassic Express. Oh yeah, I got a lot of AEW guys. Got Eddie Black Kingston, still feels like John Moxley, Kenny Omega. And now he's out if I ever event. face Moxley, you'll see him come out to you'll, you'll come, you'll see him come out to Wild Things. Hey, Triple H, I know you're watching. Impressed with what you see so far? Well, sorry. You had a shot at signing these two, and you blew it. They're BCW for life now. And there's Aubrey Edwards. Just a reminder, this match is Falls Count Anywhere in the general parking lot area, as we didn't pay to have the street closed. BCW is getting bigger, but we're not traffic control big yet, okay? I was gonna say if we're, if I ever get on 205 live, you'll see the AEW arena. For those of you who are late to the party, welcome to BCW's very first streaming pay-per-view. But I don't I don't think I'm ever on 205 live. And Black Hole Cole. Okay. Are facing each other in a falls cap. what BCW is all about. Fan interaction. You don't just come and watch a BCW show. You're a part of it. You taking notes, Triple H? Setting crowd here for BCW tonight. This is by far the hottest ticket in town. Take that bingo night at St. Mary's Church. This takes me back to the marathon beatdown between Owen Schwartz and Mason Cunin for the title. New finisher. Oh, 
We apologize if anyone's having difficulty with your pay-per-view stream. To be honest, we underestimated the demand to see Buzz in action. We offer refunds, but and then, this has been streaming from a high school parking lot. So what do you expect? Reese's Pieces, my friend. That was amazing! The live crowd loved it. You managed to avoid wrecking the principal's car, and the pay-per-view buys were off the charts. You two will be getting nice bonus checks in the mail for that. <laughs> oh, uh, I'll hand deliver yours since the last time I checked, you can't send mail to vans. <laughs> That was quite the battle. It was. Uh, sorry about your windshield. It's okay. Baron said he'd pay for it. <laughs> hey, you're a lot tougher than I thought you were. You proved that tonight. And I didn't really get it before, but now I'm starting to understand why they're calling you Buzz. It's pretty much just Baron calling me that. It's gonna catch on, you'll see. Well, my bad for getting fired up about the mask earlier. We good? We're good. That's great, guys, but don't get too friendly because you'll be facing each other again soon in an even bigger rematch. I just need time to build something. Baron, since when have you built anything ever? Well, I'm not actually building it myself, but I am designing it. In the meantime, I have some great opportunities for both of you to build off the success of tonight's show. Cole, an up-and-coming promotion in Japan wants you to go wrestle for them. Ho, ho, ho. Even Japan can't escape the energy of black hole coal. <laughs> right. Actually, they explicitly said to not do that character. They just want Cole Quinn. And Buzz, we are headed south of the border for a match versus Mexico's hottest luchador, El Mago. Es increíble. What? I took a few years of Spanish in high school. What? Guess that'll be useful on our trip. Hey, big things are happening for us in BCW. It's all coming together. I wonder now, what theme song El Mago's gonna have. What do you say we bring it in for a big celebratory BCW handshake? Yeah. Because uh, 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 <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure his theme song got switched. I didn't realize I switched Cole Quinn's. This is huge that we're all see. Study up on some. Is that a chunk of my skin? Gross. I don't want to get in Fuego del Sol. Nah, I don't have Fuego del Sol. No, that's a good idea, though, to replace El Mago. That is a good idea. If I can find a mod for him. Wakey, wakey, earthquakey. We're having an earthquake? No, no, no. I'm just playing the wrestling wake up game, man. Relax. You might want to choose a less terrifying wrestler name next time. Yeah, noted. We made it. Already? It really didn't seem like we were driving two days. Gee, I wonder why. It's because you've been asleep the entire two days. Hey, I need my genius promoter rest. Uh huh. How do you say I need a shower in Spanish? Necesita un shower? I don't know. I don't remember the word for shower. <laughs> You're a lot of hell. Did you see that? What? That mask guy who attacked me, he's here. I just saw him. I think you're seeing things from being awake for so long. I'm telling you, that was him. How about you get some rest before your big match tonight? We need to keep all our momentum going. Can't have any setbacks due to hallucinations, you know. That wasn't a hallucination. 
All right. Wait, stop, pull over! What, what is it? Did you see him? No, I want to try some authentic Mexican street corn. You're the worst. Baron over here trying to get me to a car accident. All right, what's Almago coming out to? Nothing. He's coming out to nothing. He doesn't have a theme song. All right, Almago. Straight corn is good. Botch. Amago. Los dos luchadores al punto de convertirse en superestrellas. Quién será? Quién va a ser? I wouldn't be surprised if El Mago was just Baron Blade in a mask. El Mago, get the fuck out of here. A mí no me parece que vos tiene miedo. Si hubiera luchado contra Braun Strowman, tampoco tendría miedo. Pero el mago puede hacerlo desaparecer. Escuché que el adversario del mago habla español. Pues bienvenidos a México, Buzz, y buena suerte. Thanks, Demon. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa aquí? Es el enmascarado que atacó al boss en el evento de WWE. Qué horror, terrible. It's the masked man. Qué lástima que esta lucha tremenda termina así. Lleva salió de aquí, sácalo. Oh, my match. We didn't even finish my match. What the fuck? Now, do you believe me? I guess so. Look, I don't know why you're doing this, but I am not gonna let you try to ruin my career ever again. Lo siento. Soy un fan y solo quería atención. Perdóname, por favor. What's he saying? Did he admit to everything? <sighs> no. He's a fan. He's just craving attention. He's a copycat. He's not the same guy. Let him go. Oh. Gracias, señor. Oye, ¿puedo tener un autógrafo? You do stupid shit. You don't get shit. Not tonight, buddy. Well, your big Mexico debut didn't go quite as planned, but the match was still great up until the end. 
Any publicity is good publicity, right? You've still got the buzz going. <sighs> I guess. I'm gonna take a shower. You mean... Ducha. <laughs> I looked it up. That Baron Blade, that, that fucking bald son of a bitch. I should have replaced Baron Blade with somebody funny, like Braun Breaker or some shit. So, this is what you had to build for our big rematch, right? What is it, a tetanus tornado match? Yep, it's a beauty, don't you think? I'd say it's more beast than beauty. Well, its official name is the Scrap Trap. Not only are we going to have our biggest streaming audience yet, we're doing it in one of WWE's most iconic venues. It's like we're invading their territory. Man, I wish I could see the look on Triple H's face when he sees this. Where did this even come from? Where did you dig this up? all over i salvaged it from other wrestling promotions a junkyard scrap that section is from wcw's triple cage that is from an ecw cage and i believe that side used to be an old prison fence <laughs> pretty neat huh i think a better name would be death trap this violates every health code known to mankind <laughs> yeah it does Right. I saw what happened in Mexico. Too bad some idiot had to go and ruin a great match. <laughs> Japan was great. I was free to be myself, and the fans really respect. Really. <laughs> yeah, assuming I survive. I got more points. Oh, but that's the appeal of it. And you know, I do always say that, but that, yes, that's the one. Don't worry. All right, let's go die. What the fuck? What fi action figure are you trying to buy? That's like the price is changing so frequently. Oh, that kind of makes sense. In honor of 
I would believe that though why that price would change. And there's probably not too many of them. A lot of this stuff's gonna be limited. This thing looks dangerous, that's because it is. That's the problem right now in today's market. Everything's really hard to get. After the pay-per-view, be sure to check out our new website where you can purchase all kinds of BCW swag, including my new favorite item, a BCW lunchbox which is an homage to when our locker room was in an actual school cafeteria. The Judas down? effect. You're Damn goddamn it. right it is. Triple H. It had to be. These two guys are out here killing each other, and thanks to him, no one's seeing it. No, I don't want to stop. I always be hitting the Judas effect right here. here. Maybe we can release Judas the effect. Later. Yeah. Let's go kill this guy. The fact that we're broadcasting from the Pile driver. home of Monday Night Raw shows that BCW is making huge. And we couldn't have it reversed my finish. Seriously, that means I gotta finish him with something else. It cost about 50 high school gyms. These two are now international stars. Having recently wrestled in Japan and Mexico, BCW is truly becoming a phenomenon around the mundo. I picked up a little Spanish down in Mexico. Apparently, we're having some issues with our pay-per-view stream. It might even be down completely. If anyone can still hear this, we apologize, and we're trying to find out what's going on. Really? We call this the scrap trap because it was scrapped together from junkyard metal and old steel cages from other wrestling promotions, and because it rhymes. Judas Effect again. Come on, get up. Stop reversing my finish. I thank everyone again for joining us tonight for our second ever Judas Effect. Live from get up. WWE's old stomping ground. Shut it down? Damn it! Triple H, it had to be. These two guys are out here killing each other, and thanks to him, no one's seeing it. No, I don't want to stop the match. There's still the live crowd here, and maybe we can release the video later. Damn it! Now, cutthroat slam. In honor of tonight's scrap That's it. Match, it's over. All fans in the first three rows were given free tennis shots. I also like the elbow that I use for the Judas effect is the one without is the one without the elbow pad.
Guys, that truly topped anything you've ever done before. But I'm afraid I got some bad news. What? Yeah, what happened? Our pay-per-view stream went down in the middle of your match. No one watching online got to see how it ended. What? Did the site crash or something? What happened? No. We were taken down intentionally. By Triple H. Triple H? How could he even do that? He and WWE's lawyers are claiming they have exclusive rights to broadcast from this venue. <sighs> Damn it! And now we're getting flooded with refund requests. Don't think you're getting any bonus checks for this show, guys. I'm sorry. Does either of you know if you can return slightly used jet skis? I might have jumped the gun on purchasing a couple. We'll circle back to that later. First, Triple H unfairly pulls my contract from defending myself from an attack, and now he's trying to sabotage our business? We have to strike back. They have a team of lawyers and an endless supply of cash. You guys just competed in a cage made from an old prison fence. What could we possibly do to them? Well, you said it earlier. Tonight was like we're invading their territory, right? So, what if we actually did that? What do you mean? I mean, we hit Triple H exactly where it hurts the most by... Selling him used jet skis! Invading NXT! Invading NXT! Totally on the same page as you, Buzz. I don't know about this, guys. It seems risky. Why? We've both been rejected by WWE, so... What do we have to lose, right? And this is what you wanted, Baron. You wanted this. You said it yourself. Our plan was I to I still think that selling H. him used jet skis is a better idea. So what do you say? I think we're gonna need a really big stick. That's what I'm talking about! Hey, Cole. You got the tickets? Front row, just like you wanted. This is your electric bill. Oh, sorry. Long pocket. Huh. Thank you. This is it, Buzz. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. You guys remember when Triple H and DX invaded WCW? People still talk about that to this very day. This is going to be very good for us and BCW. Just be ready for anything. I'll be pulling for you. Can I get more skills? I got 13. There we go.
I was thinking after you get in there, you should cut a... I was thinking after... I thought we should jump someone tonight to really make an impact. Next week's show is one you don't want to miss as Velveteen Dream takes on Adam Cole and what is sure to be... Uh, uh, so, wait, sorry to interrupt, Michael, but uh, something's going on in the crowd. Wait. Wait, I recognize those two. Isn't that... Hey, 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 don't give them the attention they want by saying their names. Triple H does not own us, and he obviously can't control us. We are well, dangerous. Someone please get these we idiots BCW, out of our ring. And we are going to At destroy least cut their mic NXT. Off. You will see us again. You want to cut my mic? Is that what you want to do? You just want to cut my mic? That's fine. That's fine. We, oh, look. Get them out of here now. Come on, guys. Hey, hi. What's up, guys? Come in the ring. We did what we needed to do. We're here now. We're here now. Get used to it. Down this way. I'm going. I'm going. Right here. I'm going. Is this where you want us? Okay, we're going. We're going. We're going. You're welcome. Oh, he's got the right idea. He's got the right idea. I'm going. Let's go. I'm going. Go. We're here now. Suck it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Damn. Uh -huh. You want to go? No, you want me to go? Uh. I'm not going to stop. I just told Triple H to suck it. I've never done that option before. That was awesome. Triple H must be losing it right now. I know. And even better, we're trending. Yeah. Yeah. I know I had my doubts about this, but this kind of attention will really help our next BCW Yeah, show. yeah, yeah. But before we get there, how are we going to strike next? W what do you mean strike next? This wasn't a one-time thing? <laughs> oh, no. You, you're all about the buzz, right? You're all about the buzz? We got to keep this thing going. Yeah, I want to be trending nonstop. <laughs> Triple H, he's going to be ready for us next time, so we can't just buy tickets and walk in like we did tonight, okay? We need a different plan. I have an uncle who owns a costume shop. Hmm. Our BCW shows were really taking off until Triple H shut down our stream. So why don't we forget this invasion stuff and just get back? I guess it's because I've worked with Triple H before, and I've <laughs> Or that's because I just... Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, your uncle hooked us up. I know. And all he asked is that we plug his costume shop on NXT. It's kind of a weird request, I know, but this stuff's expensive, so I said we'd do it. Uh, okay. I was thinking we'd blend in with the fans better if we dressed up as classic wrestlers. It's a great idea. So who do you want to be? Damon, who should I be?
Should we do New World Order, Degeneration X, or 80 stars? Alright, New World Order. Well, we gotta go with the original invaders, Hall and Nash from the NWO. This is going to be too sweet! Oh, yeah. Oh, this is gonna be cool as shit. I've done D-Generation X and I've done the ultimate, the 90s stuff. I've never done the NWO. Oh shit. Hey yo. Hey yo. Come on. Let's go. You want to go? Come on. Let's go. Too much going on. What the fuck? There's way too much going on. Actually getting my ass beat by security guards. There we go. Uh, Gargano went night night. Come on, let's go. Destroy them.
All right, man. I, I'm. Thank you for showing up to my stream. I appreciate it. Get some good rest. I want you to tear them apart. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Cletus. Come on. Let's go.
finish them off. Wait, what? Most of my cravat driver got changed. Okay, interesting. Hey, Hunter, you mad, bro? I mean, I guess I would be too if a couple of indie guys infiltrated my show two weeks in a row and then beat up half my roster. Yeah, you guys are real clever, showing up here again in your cute little costumes. Actually, these awesome costumes are courtesy of Don's Costume Shop, Syracuse, New York. Dressing you up since 1993. And if you use the promo code Mr. CQ, you get a 10% off all wrestling costumes. Thanks, Uncle Don. Oh, and to Mom, Dad, Sally, and my dog Butternuts. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Thank you for supporting me in all of my endeavors. Look at me now! I made the big time, baby! Are you finished? Yeah, man. Anything else you want to plug, or...? BCW? Oh yeah! You can catch more of the two of us on BCW when Triple H here isn't trying to shut down our shows. Listen, we can stand here and go back and forth and then you can try to invade again next week in some other not so clever way. But I have a different proposal instead. You want to be on NXT so bad, you can come back and have an actual sanctioned match. I just happen to have the perfect opponent for you, Buzz. So what do you say? You got yourself a deal. That's great, because after next week, 
Your life will be changed forever. All right. Hey guys, we wanted to make you feel at home, so we got you your very own locker room. What's the matter? Is it too big? <laughs> well, at least we have free toilet paper. to prepare for my match when I have no idea who I'm facing. I would just be ready for anything. Yeah, I mean, I could be facing Braun Strowman because Triple H had me go against him in my tryout match? Maybe. You okay? You seem kind of distracted. Look, I'm just worried how this is gonna turn out. I mean, for all of us. I warned you not to get on Triple H's bad side. Yeah, yeah, but with everybody here, it should be fine, right? I hope you're right. Look, I'm gonna go see if I can find us an actual dressing room, okay? Hey, no matter what happens, I got your back tonight. I just have a strange feeling that Triple H is gonna try to pull something over on you. He's not all right. Hey, I just... No, all right. Okay, for some reason, one of my moods got changed. Let's go fix that. I don't really like my finishers right now anyways. I know it's still there, it just got changed for some reason. I like this move. I don't know how I feel about the jumping cravat move. Trying to think what other move I could do. Do the choke slam backbreaker. Maybe 
Maybe I will do the Cobra Clutch as a finisher. I think I'm gonna make that my signature. I think I'm gonna do the Cobra Clutch. Cause I'm almost certain I'm gonna do the Cobra Clutch. But I don't really like that finisher. something new. So I want something with some oomph. Maybe the TKO? I mean, I could do the Skyner screwdriver.
Let's test this out for right now. Actually, instead of doing this, I kind of want to do the sit out cradle pile driver. Actually, I just realized something. I forgot what that one move was. The one where I drop, I drop him on his face. That isn't under S, is it? Wasn't it the Snapmare Driver? Because I could do the Snapmare Driver. Set it up and then do the Cobra Clutch like two. I think that's how I'm going to do it. No, we're not done yet, because this is my NXT debut. So we're going to go special, because this is my NXT debut. Because you know we go hard. We know we go hard when it comes to the NXT debut. So we're switching to our special attire.
We're putting on the face paint, brother. There's a feeling of tension in the air as Buzz is about to find out the identity of his opponent. Sorry, Buzz. I'm not your opponent tonight. But I did personally select him. You see, I did a little digging these past couple of weeks and I was able to track down the person who cost you your shot at WWE. And that's who you're facing tonight. Come on out. No, it can't be! Who would have imagined? <laughs> Leave it to the Cerebral Assassin to pull off something like this. <laughs> I love it! To bring our audience up to speed, Buzz had a WWE contract, but an altercation with his mass fan forced Triple H to rescind that contract. Guys, Buzz is in absolute shock. Well, he better snap out of it or he's gonna get beat up by this fan a second time. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Man, this card is just packed with so many great matches, and this one is definitely among the most anticipated, I'd say. What a stop! Good grief! Oh my goodness, crushing it! He banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. <laughs> He's on the defensive here. But well, we all know that he isn't afraid of a good fight, which is what we're seeing here. What impact. a human being tossed like that. DDT! Looks like he's starting to tire. This match is definitely testing his metal, guys. That confidence he had on his face at the start of this match sure has disappeared, and with good reason. He's taken quite a beating. Hey, he can still win this thing, guys. We've all seen him come back from much worse. Full of speed. Ooh, right in the face. Destroyed. Buzz is desperately trying to find out the identity of the masked attacker. And there's just as much desperation on the masked attacker's part to hide their identity from Buzz.
He's oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered, but he's got to capitalize. Oh, what a bump to the face. I'm not sure how much he has left. If that doesn't end this match, I don't know what will. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. The end may be near, folks. I have a feeling this isn't going to end well for him. He's definitely in trouble, Cole. He might want to rethink his strategy and keep this match in the ring. At this point, he has to be thinking to himself, what do I have to do to get back in this thing? Uh, he's in a bad spot, guys. I wouldn't be surprised if he hightails it through the crowd. Let's you should hope. go with him, Byron. Guys, it's imperative he gets back in the ring. Yeah, otherwise he's looking at a count out. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. He's lining him up. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. This superstar is dangerous both inside and outside the ring. Slingshot neck breaker. No. Counter here. Dude, this, this, if he doesn't stop yeah, reversing, a speed bro. Pain off. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. On, he dodges out of the way. Great. Back in from the apron. Brought in the hard way. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. Wow, I thought he was a goner. This could be the end. The end of the trail. What is the oh, close line? Will Buzz be able to continue? I doubt it. Somebody get the hose. This guy's on fire. He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. Driver. That's what he was looking for, Michael. It's over. I'm ending it right here. It's over. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's going to do it. Beautiful technique. That has got to be it. There's the tap. There's the tap. This one's over. These guys gave everyone their money's worth. Here's another look. Yeah, he's putting in the work. Check this out. And finally... I'm sorry. But I can explain. I attacked you after your WWE tryout because I didn't want to lose you. Without you, BCW wouldn't last. But more importantly, I didn't want to lose my protege. You're like a son to me. And I know after you lost your dad, I was like a father to you. Don't you ever mention my father again. Please try to understand. I know I messed up, but I had good intentions. Good intentions? You cost me my dream. I trusted you with everything. My safety, my career. 
my entire life. This is why I didn't want to invade NXT. I knew Triple H would use this to drive us apart. No, Triple H didn't drive us apart. You drove us apart. I never want to see you or talk to you again. We are done. Wait, just please forgive me. Go ahead, hit me if it makes you feel better. I deserve it. You're not worth it. <laughs> I told you, this match would change your life forever. I swear, I had no idea about Baron. I'm just as shocked as you are. Just want to get out of here. What's the big hurry, Buzz? Don't you want to stay? Have some catering? I mean, it might be a good idea. Who knows where your next meal is going to be coming from after I just tore your little indie fed to pieces. I'm not hungry. We're not finished here. You guys thought you were so cute playing Invasion, but I have eyes and ears everywhere and the moment they informed me baron was the masked man that attacked you i could not wait to light the fuse and watch everything blow up in your faces you know it took a bit of convincing to get baron to do the match i told him that i'd keep his secret but i was going to expose him either way so take your stuff take your little buddy here and go back to your rundown van and your rundown lives oh wait there's one more thing you might want to know I bought your contract from Baron, which means I have control over you now. So you can also consider tonight your retirement match, because as long as I am alive, you will never step foot in a ring again. Now we're finished. Hey guys, hold on a second. Yeah, we couldn't help overhear all that, and we have a different plan in mind. This doesn't concern you. Actually, it does. Yeah, as respective GMs of Raw and SmackDown, our job is to find the very best talent for our shows. And from what we've seen the past few weeks, and from his run on the indies, this man doesn't deserve to be sent off into early retirement. He deserves to be on the main roster. It'd be a waste to have him under contract sitting on the sidelines. You can stop right there. I've made my decision. Aren't you always using the phrase, what's best for business? He does always say that, Daniel. So, wouldn't putting your personal issues with a talent aside in order to make SmackDown... Or Raw. ...the best show possible be the exact definition for what's best for business? Fine. He's your problem now. You might have been bailed out this time, but I will never forget what you did. So what's it gonna be? I think you'd be right at home on Team Blue. Or you could be a part of WWE's flagship show, Monday Night Raw. <laughs> this has been an emotional night, and uh, uh, this is a lot to take in. But if I have to make a decision right now, I've got to go where I think I have the best opportunity to showcase my wrestling style, and that's on SmackDown. Yes! 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 Hear that? There's a buzz on SmackDown. <laughs> Congrats, man. I don't agree with your decision, but I respect it. And if I've learned anything in my career, it's never say never. So who knows? Maybe you end up competing on Raw someday. In the meantime, good luck. Thank you. Buzz is now headed for SmackDown Unbelievable. Live! Unbelievable.
Buzz, I know you don't want to talk to me. Alright, we're gonna end the stream here. And then maybe we will continue soon the wrestling career of Chris Bannon. Thanks, guys.